I don't know if some of you notice this, but I often use some apps or services or applications uh, for an extended period of time, like years. They work absolutely fine. You know, they do they does the job. They they do the job correctly and in a timely manner. But then all of a sudden something changes. The app interface changes. It becomes quote unquote modern, you know. The UI changes. Things most of the time get slower. I had this app that has, uh, that has been using for years. All of a sudden, I think last week, uh, it went from taking 0.5 seconds, like a fraction of a second to start, now to taking like 10 to 15 seconds just to start. Nothing changes from that, no, absolutely nothing. You now they added a splash screen and things in the front end that absolutely I don't care about. And and I don't think anybody cares about a splash screen. Like, well, what what does what value does it add, right? It's like sometimes is the things we change have you you look at them and it's like, why did someone implement this? I want to talk about this about about this a little bit, and I think maybe certain features that we add to the applications certain bugs that we fix are useful no because a bug might be when i click this button in certain situations if there's no network available it takes 30 seconds to open a dialogue right a bug fix might be, hey, let's just open the dialogue and say, time out early, the network is not available. If you want to retry, just refresh. Yeah? So th simple things like that can, can fix the problem. And I think it's useful. So, oh, I just don't have internet. Right? So these things are, are targeted, you know, uh, fixes and targeted problems that you want to solve the 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 things that i'm i'm amazed by are are features that get added there is no clear reasoning behind it except as to make it look better i think part of this uh, the problems that comes with software part of it is uh, mainly ego when you get transferred when you transfer a new team member from one team to another team, you know, or you hire some new team member, or you hire a new tech lead, or an engineering CTO, or a CEO, uh, into uh, it's one thing if the if the situation that you're hiring into is. Uh, the app is working perfectly. The software is smooth. And that's it. Right? But then the goal becomes is, all right, this new CEO or this new tech lead feels like they have to do something. And I think that this is where the problems occur. Because what the engineering lead will do was will look at the software and it's like oh guys you wrote this in this language oh that's just bad let's just uh spin up a new project so we can rewrite this entire thing into this language because it's way better it's more modern it's to have this feature and this feature and that feature and or uh oh guys you're using this database <sighs> that just doesn't make sense i mean uh, the, the way you're doing this, just like, yeah, there's a problem with this. Let me send you a few articles. And even that person doesn't even know what they're talking about. It's just they, they look up something and says, oh, they saw someone in Hacker News talking shit about certain database. And they will say, okay, oh, yeah, see, I told you this database is not good. Let's move. So they spin up a new project to move to a new database. 
without reasons. And I'm not naming any companies or anything like that. But even the reasons are are rarely. You can you can feel it even in the app itself, or you can feel it in the even if there is like a engineering article about it, you can feel that it's a BS uh thing. It's like okay. Oh, we looked into it and we've seen that this doesn't work for us because of of this. Although the the solution is clear there. Simple tuning could have fixed it, right? Although we like to make a dramatic and drastic changes all the time. Right? And that goes for both back end and front end. Front end you see it in a fancy new whatever the flavor of the CSS framework or or the framework today. Like, oh, I'm gonna write this in this framework or oh oh this framework is old now. You have to rewrite it in this. It's almost like we don't want the software to just work anymore. That's not our goal. That rarely become our goal. Our goal is to show off that we know a language. Our goal is to show off that, oh, the way you wrote this code is wrong and the way I'm writing is, is right. And, and the goal to make the software quote-unquote work and performant has rarely become the issue and, and, and the target anymore it became always about this superfluous uh, cosmetic thing like okay how can I show off that I'm using this new fancy things that everybody talking about right and it all spin I think I say I think because every 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 video, every podcast, every article I write is just my thoughts. So don't take them for for gospel. You know, it's just I'm always I could be wrong. I could be I don't care if I'm wrong or right for that matter. It's just opinions at the end of the day, right? So and I think what happens is is it, 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 it boils down to the human ego, you know. At some point, we were told that we're smart, either by our parents or teachers, maybe. And then we carried that with us. And right? even our boss is like, oh, you're really good. And your our friends talk like, uh, to other friends about, oh, do you see how good this guy is? He's really good. I think he's, we should hire him. And that builds up, builds up, builds up, builds up. That ego builds up. And it gets out of control. And I'm not talking like I don't have that. Everybody has it. I do. I try to control it, but it's a, it's a, it's a monumental task to do so. But just having, realizing that I'm just reaching a point where I'm realizing my ego, just realizing it's even there. That's... I think that's that's the first step, right? And knowing that your internal ego will try to manifest as uh, let me show you guys what I know. Let me show you this skill that I know. The, the reason it's problematic is because this is rarely useful to the product itself. And then this ego starts to manifest as you know, tasks, orders, condescending conversations, right? I might say, what's the problem with that? Well, the problem is, it, if ego is, is fed, it will only grow larger. If the ego is not fed, it will lead to frustration and anxiety. And the person so you're damned if you do and damn if if you don't kind of situation here right and and and, and the product will suffer as a result with the, regardless what this product is a software or something else i think it's 
it's all the same, right? When this ego start manifesting as, it's like, oh, guys, you guys, you have to, right? You have to use this style of programming or versus that style of programming. Or you have to use clean code because that's what everybody's talking about, right? Uh, you have to wipe it with Clorox wipes and, uh, you know, put detail on it make your code clean because nobody like dirty code right all these things and I, i'm not saying wrong or right is you anything that is forced without will targeted reasoning behind it i think it fails if you're a tech lead and you your subordinate if you will engineer proposed an idea that is better than yours or an idea that contradicts uh, something you did last year because you implemented certain things right and and this uh, this this app becomes your baby right and you don't want to change that that thing but deep down you know that his idea is gonna improve certain big component right? And, and it w by changing the way you write, you wrote things originally, that, that ego will kick in. And, and the ego will kick in and will say, no, no, don't change it. You're never going to change it because we like the way it is and, and, and it works the way it is. So don't change it. And so this kind of contradicts what I said in the beginning, right? Because if, it, if it's not broken, don't change it. But that is, in this particular situation, it actually is broken, right? His idea will improve the performance by 90%, by 150%, right? But your ego is kicking in to defend the status quo, to protect the way you were writing things. So it is, it comes really down to the objective uh, observation of what is being targeted and what are we fixing is a double-edged sword in this case it can stop innovation from happening through innovation that gives you 200 percent performance not one percent not two percent not three percent right true big wins or it can be the flip where you are introducing something just to show off. And that is, they have basically no points. The, 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 the change doesn't have a ground. It doesn't have a goal. Its goal is just superficial, right? cosmetic almost yeah i take it for what for it for what it is uh there is no advice or there is no you know, really you know action items to be done here it's just something i observed and and i and i see it very 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 often and i thought it's uh i think it's a problem and i think i wrote a book about it it's like a short story it's called the unempathetic engineer um kind of highlighting that a little bit and this is this video is just build up on that it's just it's very it's a very it's very common in the engineering community in the tech space all right guys see you in the next one